everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am doing another studio vlog. So if you didn't watch my last studio vlog, I'd recommend going and watching that one first so you kind of get an idea of what I'm doing for my next Etsy shop opening. But I just finished another hat and I am honestly kind of obsessed with this one. So it is orange and then I hung these little pom-poms, pom-pom charms down here at the bottom. So they hang down. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. They're literally so cute. Like look at the little pom-poms guys. And you can kind of hear the little pom-pom shaking on your head and I think it's so cute. Yeah, that's another hat that's gonna be for sale. I wanna keep it for myself, but I'll probably make another for myself because that is literally so cute. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I have done so far and the things that I have gotten for the next Etsy shop opening. So on Amazon today, I ordered a like mannequin head so I can take product photos of my hats on the mannequin head so you can kind of see what it looks like on a head. And the mannequin head is like 20 inches in circumference. My head is 22 inches. So I will put the like circumference of every hat on each listing. So just keep that in mind. I will be doing that. But yesterday I didn't film it because I was like really in just grind mode yesterday when it came to making stickers. And I was like drawing and like just really like having a good time yesterday. So I drew a bunch of stickers and an art print. So I'm gonna show you guys what I drew. And in this studio vlog, we'll be making some stickers. So firstly, I made this skating art print. So I made these skates myself. They're like they're moon phase boots is what I called them, inspired by the moon boots. So it took me a while to draw that and then I just made a pretty background. So that's gonna be an art print for any of you skaters out there, but it's also going to be a sticker. So I'm going to be making a roller skating sticker pack. So these are the stickers that will be in the sticker pack. So this sticker will be in the sticker pack as long with this rainbow one that says skate or die. I just feel like it would be really cute on like a helmet. And we have this vibey little flower and this good vibes sticker. So that's all gonna be in a sticker pack and I also made the backing card for it. So there's the backing card, it's just gonna be white. And then I also made two more like animals in things stickers. If you guys are new to my channel and you've never seen what I sell, every new Etsy shop opening, I try to make a like new cat or animal inside of something. So in the past, I've made like a cat in a blueberry, a cat in a pumpkin, cat in a Christmas tree, a snowman, things like that. So this time I made a bunny inside of an Easter egg because Easter is coming up soon, but I mainly just did it because I think it's just really funny and cute. And then I also made this cat in a strawberry. So those are gonna be available stickers as well. I think those are the only stickers that I'm going to be making for this shop opening since I'm mainly focusing on the hats. So yeah, I'm about to work on another hat. I'm going to do a pink hat now probably with some of those pink charms that I bought from the last studio vlog. I also got some more packaging items that I didn't show on camera last time. I got some product bags. Unfortunately, I thought these would be big enough for my hats and they're definitely not. So I'm just gonna use them to package my stickers. They're paper bags, they're recyclable. And I thought I ordered a size big enough to wrap my hats in them, but I didn't. So these will uh, be wrapped with my stickers. They're just black baggies. But I did already have these plastic bags right here that are big enough to pack my hats. I did want to use recyclable material, but I already had these and these are big enough to put my hats in because when I sent out my Patreon hat, um, it fit perfectly in these little plastic baggies. And then I also got bubble mailers that are big enough to mail out my hats because the ones that I have before are only big enough for art prints and stickers. So I needed to get a size a little bit bigger to be able to ship out my hats. So I got a pack of 25 purple ones and hopefully this will be enough for my first opening. I'll probably have to order some more of course, but I just think they're really pretty. They're purple. I've used these bubble mailers before in the past, so I really like them. So that's some stuff that I've gotten for the shop and now I'm going to work on my next hat. It is a super rainy day, unfortunately. I was planning on doing some skating these past couple days, but it's been thunderstorming so I can't go outside. So I've just been doing my Etsy stuff instead. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next day and I got that little styrofoam head in the mail so I figured I'd unbox it. It's kind of creepy but here it is. It's a little bit smaller than my head. It has a little face and everything. So let's put a hat on it and see what it looks like. So here is what it looks like when you put 
the hats on it. Yeah, it'll be like super cute for product pictures, I think. I literally love this so much. So yeah, um, when the lighting outside gets a little bit better, I'm gonna take some more product pictures, but here's what the hat looks like on this little just mannequin head. Okay guys, I just finished making the pink hat and I think this is like one of my favorites. I think I keep saying that for each one, but look how freaking cute all of these charms are. Like, I seriously, I, I can't get over this. Like, here is what it looks like. So cute. Hey guys, so it is, I don't even know how many days later, but I've been working on my Etsy stuff as you guys saw. I'm not making as many hats as I would have liked, and it's just because I genuinely really have not had that much time to do them. I do them when I'm like not doing anything, like watching TV and stuff like that, but I'm gonna try to make at least two to three more by the end of the week, so I'm gonna have about eight hats, I guess. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I've been working on. So I have 10 of these like skate vibe packs. So they're basically just kind of like vibey stickers for like skating or just good vibes, you guys. Like, so yeah, I have those. I think these are some of my favorite sticker packs and I hand cut all of these. So please appreciate that. <laughs> I haven't counted, but I have tons of these little stickers as well. Um, they're like two inches tall, I guess. Um, I wanted these to come out by Easter because they're obviously kind of Easter themed, but I I didn't get it in time. So I'm just calling these trippy bunny. So it's just a trippy bunny in an egg. And then I made these, I love these. I think these are one of my favorite stickers that I've made so far. It's just so cute. So those are the only stickers I have made for this reshop opening. Sorry, I just, I really haven't had time to do any other type of stickers. I don't have the patience to cut out all of my old stickers as well. But I have restocked a lot of the art prints that sell out pretty fast as well. So. I have the skate art print. I did about 10 of those. I started doing these 
which I don't know if I've shown these already, but I really like these. And then I did some more of the Ditto and Bulbasaur as well. So if you guys are interested in art prints, I do have those. Logo stickers, I hand cut those as well, but I just used my little like big cutter, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And then I also made washing instruction cards, and I also worked on my social card. So those are the stickers and art prints that are gonna be for sale. And now for the hats that I have made so far. So you guys saw that I had a black hat with purple moons. Um, my Patreon monthly winner this month actually asked for a black hat with purple moons, so I just packed that one up and gave it to her. I'm gonna try to make another one though. So this one I finished yesterday, Day. I am obsessed with it. It's a little mushroom and it is so freaking cute. How cute it is. It's a little big on my head, but not really. It's not that bad. So cute. Love it. Mushroom hat, cottage core vibes. And then, like I said, we have blue one I've already shown you. Pink one, which I love. And my favorite, I think, is the orange one with the little dangles. And right now I'm working on a mint colored hat with some more dangles that are gonna be on that. And then I'm gonna try to make a, another black hat with moons, and stuff like that. I also wanna start making some crochet bookmarks. I'm working on trying to find like a pattern to make for that. Um, I'm gonna try to make my own pattern. I'm gonna try to make like moon and star crocheted bookmarks because I feel like that would be really fun and other crochet items because I love crocheting. Those are some items to look forward to in the future, but these are the hats that I have made so far. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this studio vlog here and the next studio vlog is gonna pick up from this point on where I start working on some more hats and the next studio vlog is going to be me opening my Etsy shop and everything. I'm planning on opening the Etsy shop this Friday. Um, You should be seeing the video today, which is like Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not too sure when this video is going up yet. So this Friday, um, it'll probably be around lunchtime, Eastern time, I don't know yet. But I will be posting my Etsy shop earlier for my patrons on Patreon. I do have patrons who who pay to see extra content so they get stuff early. So if they buy out all of the hats and the items, I'm sorry, they do pay to get everything beforehand. So I, you can't really get mad at them for that because they're paying extra to be able to get my stuff. So if you wanna join my Patreon, that'll be down below. Even the $3 tier gets notified when my Etsy shop is open. So I don't really charge a lot on my Patreon, I feel like. But I also have my social medias down below. I will be posting my opening on my Twitter and my art Instagram. So if you guys wanna stay updated, you turn on my notifications on there. Also make sure to check out my other channels down below. I've been uploading a lot on my other channels recently because my main channel I'm kind of in a little bit of a slump right now. So my reading channel I've been posting a lot of reading vlogs and just like fun outdoor vlogs and then my gaming channel and my pet channel I've been posting a lot of fun stuff on there so check those out as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for the support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>